One of those is Richard Baker, who served as a private first class in the Army in World War II. You were drafted in World War II. Tell me, when you were drafted, what was going through your head? I really don't want to do this, but I have to. <laughs> Honest. Yeah. But you served your country and served it bravely anyhow. You yeah. got sent overseas. Did yeah. you know when you were headed into Utah Beach how massive an operation this was? I mean, how much did you know about what was going on at that time? Not much. The only thing that we were told was that we were going to land on Utah Beach and fight our way across. And I was a little worried whether I was going to make it or not. Wow, a little worried. I think that's got to be the understatement of the century. Yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of, you know, thank you so much for your service, for serving so bravely. When you were liberating people there, what was going through your head? I mean, were people thanking you? What was happening then? Well, I was with the regiment that liberated Paris, and the people were so happy that they were free again. We thought that it was really worth what we've gone through to see these people so happy. It's incredible. So this is way before our time. Tell us, paint the picture for us. You're marching into Paris. What's happening? Well, we went into Paris, and the streets were just crowded with people. The Germans had already left, most of them. There were a few snipers left. And the people were just giving us hugs and kisses and wine to drink and cheese and bread to eat. <laughs> and it was really one of the better days of what we went through. And we thought it was worth it. When you got home, were there people waiting for you at home? Were you married at the time? No, I wasn't married. I was single then. I didn't get married till after the war. And I was married 63 and a half years when my wife passed away. That's incredible. You served with some pretty amazing people. Are any of them still around? Do you stay in touch with anybody from that era? The what? Do you stay in touch? Do you have any friends that you still are in touch with that are still around from the World War II era? Uh, I've stayed in touch with uh, three or four different guys, but they've all passed away. I'm about the only one left in the regiment, I think. <laughs> Well, we certainly appreciate your service. What would you want to say to your fellow veterans, to those who have served and those who continue to serve today? I just want to thank them for what they're doing, and I appreciate what they're doing, and I think they're brave men, and they're serving their country. Well, you paved the way, sir. Thank you very much, and happy Veterans Day. Right. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, thank appreciate you. It.